I just wanted to show y'all something. You see these people casually strolling out here. Some of them have on shorts. I think the ones that had on shorts, uh, you probably can't see them anymore, but some of these people got on shorts and stuff and they just strolling along and enjoying this nice weather. I think it's about 80 degrees. been gone for a long time I do apologize I actually had like a couple of trips but they were small trips and then I've been sitting ready which is what I always do so um, I didn't think that was interesting so I was like I don't think you guys want to see that and then um, my kids had spring break so I went on spring break with my kids to Vegas in California and um, my fiance told me you know you should have blocked you should have vlogged so um, your viewers could have saw, you know, all the fun things that we did, and I was just like, oh my god, I should have, but we were having so much fun, I just didn't feel like pulling out my camera, but next vacation, I'm bringing you guys along, but I got a trip, and this is an interesting trip, um, it's a four-day, so I lay over in Detroit tonight, um, tomorrow night I lay over in Philadelphia and then the next night after that I lay over in Denver so um, I'm the most junior on the trip so I'm not sure if I'll fly lead or not but we shall find out because I'm on my way to the airport my sign in is at 725 um, I'm making pretty good time or whatever in half a mile continue straight to stay on I-635 West Y'all, I will see y'all once I get to the airport or once I get on the aircraft. All right, talk to y'all soon. Bye. So I made it on the aircraft. Um, I already did my safety checks and everything. And we are about to go after we get everybody boarded. This is a full flight. Actually with negative three seats. So I hope everybody can make it on. But I will see y'all when we get to Detroit. Bye. All checked and carry on luggage is subject to search. Alright, even though we always stay here, still checking this room. Refrigerator, microwave, king size bed, chair. I always put my bag on the chair. One thing that I never do is Leave my bag on the floor unless it's there while I'm checking the room. I always sit it on top of something. Never sit it on the bed first until I check for the bed bugs. Let's see what I'm looking at. I've had this view before of the apartments across the street. Alright, so I said that I was going to take y'all along with me while I do my safety checks. Uh, and also while I do my bed bug checks. So when I check for bed bugs, I always... Pull back the covers. Sometimes some mattresses have like a casing on it. Those plastic casings um, are semi-safe because at least you know that nothing can get to the, get inside those casings. But I do check the outside of them and I do check underneath the mattress too to make sure that it ain't none hiding around on the plastic or anything like that. So I always check inside the seams of the mattress. And if... If there's an infestation of bed bugs, you will see like little eggs along here. There'll be like little red brown eggs. You might see like blood spots and stuff. If you ever see that, you stop. Stop. Everything. Get your bags and exit the room and go down to the front desk. Ask for another room. And don't take no for an answer because that means that that room is infestated with um, bed bugs. And you don't want that because you take them home and it costs a lot of money to get rid of them. I also check like the baseboard and stuff down here. I check underneath here too. Then I always go around on the other side, and I do the same exact thing. Pull this up, check along the seam. Make sure everything is everything down here. Underneath. Okay. okay. This should be good to go. Uh, the last thing that I check is the bathroom. Because I like to ensure that I have clean towels, and the tub is clean and all that. So, looks like the bathroom is pretty clean. I also check the toilet, make sure nobody left nothing in there. Tub is pretty clean. Got fresh towels. And it's not, you know, like 
one towel here and I can tell that one towel here and I can tell that these two been used. I make sure that I don't find a room like that because then I know that they probably checked somebody in here and that person checked out for some odd reason and I don't like that. So make sure my room is always fresh. See, um, this is kind of how I do my checks for bed bugs and I do my safety checks and I also check the room for cleanliness as well. And one thing I um forgot to tell y'all also, I checked the bed. Um this is a white bed spread. So I'll be able to see if it's dirty or any um hair or anything on it cuz sometimes um um people like the housekeepers, they might leave their hair on the bed. One time I checked into a hotel and it looked like somebody's dog had been on the bedspread and they didn't even change it out because it was like dog hair all over the bedspread, like short hairs. And I could tell either it came from some kind of animal. And I was just like, oh my God, why didn't they change this bedspread and just put it back on here? And you can clearly see this pet hair. So yeah, that's a no-no. But um Anyways, um, yeah, that's what I do to check the room to make sure that it's clean and it's safe because, you know, um, just being a flight attendant, you're always in different hotel rooms every single day of your trip and you don't want to take home bed bugs and stuff like that, you know, because those are hard to get rid of. It costs a lot of money, like I said. And then too, you know, you don't want to be in a room that's not clean as far as like the bathtub and the sink and all that other stuff, because you like, you're using something behind somebody else <laughs> and like no 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 room needs to be clean i do understand that you know the room um most of the time is not a hundred a hundred percent clean you know like it's good to always bring your wipes with you and wipe down the toilet wipe down the phone um i really don't uh, pick up the remote as much i'll put like um like see the remote right here i will grab a liner like an ice bucket liner one of these and i'll stick the remote inside of that um y'all that's about it i want to talk to y'all about because i was like all this time i never really did like the bed bug checks and stuff with y'all i always do the safety checks so i just wanted to do something a little bit different um just to show you you know kind of what to do for those who are inspiring flight attendants and those that just travel, you know, if you travel all the time for work, you know, that's really, it's a really good habit to really thoroughly check your room. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. But y'all, we had a good trip to Detroit. It was only like two hours and 14 minutes or something like that. My crew was awesome. We only had like 80 passengers and everybody was pretty cool. So I had a, um, a really good flight, a really good flight. So, um, tomorrow our showtime is 1030. No, no, no. 1116. And our band time is 1030. So, I'm probably going to get up and try to eat some breakfast because I know I got a long duty day. It's like a 13-hour duty day tomorrow. We go from Detroit to Cancun, Cancun to Fort Lauderdale, then Fort Lauderdale to Philadelphia. So, yeah, that's going to be like 13 hours tomorrow, and we are probably picking up some students <laughs> from Cancun. So this would be interesting because this will be my first time flying into Cancun. So I'm excited about that, even though my city is only 50 minutes. So it's kind of like a fly in, fly out, but that's okay. I'm ready to go. All right, guys, well, have a good night. I'm going to lay in this big comfy bed and I will talk to y'all in the AM. Yeah. Bye. So I'm on the aircraft now. I've already did all of my safety checks and we are ready to go to Cancun. I looked um, at the passengers and stuff because I thought maybe we would have like a lot of college students. But, um, hey Elvis, I need an ice bucket. They're going to ask their supervisor, but if not, you need to tell the gate agent they need to get LSG. I need an ice bucket. So we have like a lot of families that's going out to um, Cancun, which is good, but we are coming back in for a lot of them, so there's no telling who all will be on this flight coming back. I will see you guys a little later. So we are in Cancun. Our flight was about uh, three hours and 24 minutes. So it was kind of a long flight, but we had a good time. We had great passengers. Um, they kept us busy. So that kind of helped to uh, make time kind of fly by. But now we have the cleaners on board and um, they're doing the security check or whatever. So we are 
waiting to board to go to Fort Lauderdale. So uh, when I say that Fort Lauderdale, we just pass it through. So we're going to do a Fort Lauderdale to Philadelphia. So our Fort Lauderdale time uh, is about one hour and 51 minutes. So that's going to be pretty cool. Pretty short. So we can hurry up and get there so we can get on to Philadelphia. So guys, this is like a 12 hour duty day. So this is the longest duty day that we are having during the trip. So yeah, we're halfway done. So guys, I will catch up with y'all once we get to Fort Lauderdale. And I'm going to try to show a little bit of Cancun kind of out the window if I can because we're at the airport so you really can't see anything but land. You can't see any water or anything like that. So I'm going to try to show y'all some of the water and uh, maybe a beach or something if I can see one while we're taking off. All right. flight was about almost two hours so it was pretty short um we had a really good um turnout with the passengers i was with the same crew everybody was really cool we had a lot of fun and now we're all at the hotel so um it's almost well it's like past 12 midnight so y'all i am tired i'm about to lay down this has been like literally a 12 hour duty day for me because I caught the well actually more than a 12 hour duty day because I got on the shuttle at 10 30 and it's now like 12 30 a.m so yeah I am beat I'm about to go ahead and go to bed and I will catch up with you guys tomorrow y'all so I'm walking to um it's a Denny's right here and like a uh, diner so I don't know kind of what I want. I don't know if I want like breakfast or if I want like, um, I don't know, quesadillas or something. So I don't know. It's like I can eat breakfast any time of the day, y'all. So I think I want some breakfast. But anywho, good morning and welcome to Philadelphia. It's all gloomy and stuff. It's some woods right here. Oh my gosh. But it's all gloomy and stuff because um, it's raining a little bit, so that's why I got my hood on. But, um, yeah, it's nothing in the hotel. So, this um, these two little restaurants is probably about a half a block from the hotel, so not far at all. And trying to get here and get back before it starts raining because it's already misting. So I'm 
back. I'm already on the aircraft. I done my safety checks and everything. Um, and uh, you know what? I haven't had a chance to talk to y'all about safety checks, but um, when we doing our safety checks, we always check the safety equipment. We check our um, our uh, jump seats to make sure that the seatbelt um, comes out of the harness and all of that stuff and it buckles up correctly. Um, we make sure everything's working as far as the flashlight, the um, light vest, um, the um, AED, the PPE, all that stuff. If this sounds foreign to you guys, if you're already a flight attendant, you know what all these things are. And um, yeah, so once we do all those checks, we just wait to board. And right now we're about to board, so I will definitely see you guys once we get to Orlando. Bye. Hey guys, so we are in Orlando. The flight wasn't too long. It was probably like two hours and ten minutes. And now we are headed to Denver. Um, the Denver ride is about a almost four hour, which I think they'll cut it down to about three thirty or something like that. And then after that. We're laying over in Denver, so y'all, I will see y'all once we get over to Denver. Uh, I'm still on the same aircraft. They're, they already catered us, and they're um, cleaning the aircraft right now so we can get ready to board. All right, y'all, see you in Denver. Bye. was pretty long it was oh my god our flight was about three hours and 30 minutes i believe coming out of orlando to denver so i'm pretty tired um me and the crew we were just ready to get to the room so that way we can lay down and kind of start fresh tomorrow tomorrow's go home day so i'm hoping that everything goes well um we had uh somewhat of a small medical on this flight um the uh, there was a passenger that was a emt and um he had like a, a slip disc in his back and he wanted us to open up the emk and we couldn't do that so uh we had to like call the captain and then call med leak and all that good stuff um in order to be able to give him something out of there but yeah that that was that kind of made our little three hours and 30 minutes a little longer, but it's part of our job. So, you know, we had to be there to do it. But anyways, guys, uh, I'm going to go ahead and lay down because I am so tired and I love these beds at this hotel. So I'm going to enjoy the bed. And uh, my showtime isn't until like, I think uh, 6.45 or something like that. My shuttle time is 5.30. We're taking the shuttle a little early because the airport, the hotel is so far from the airport. Like, they built Denver Airport in the middle of nowhere. So, we had to drive at least, like, 20 minutes, seemed like, to get to the hotel. So, we have to leave a little bit early so that way we can get to the airport on time. So, um, I'll take you guys along with me um, probably to get something to eat. They got a lot of eateries across the street because I will be hungry in the morning. So, I will see you guys in the morning. Bye. Good evening and welcome back. So, like I said last night, I'm in Denver. We're about to head out to go to the airport. My show time is 5.45. It is about 5.30. So, I got roughly about 10 minutes to go ahead and comb my hair and get my stuff together. See, I'm still trying to pack up my stuff but get my stuff together so i can head out to the shuttle and uh we're a little far from the airport probably about 15 20 minutes then we have to catch the train to our 
gate so that's gonna take a minute our show time is 6 45 so we'll be uh there in enough time we leave out i believe about uh 7 45 and i'm supposed to uh, land in Dallas about 11 p.m. and I'll probably make it home a little past midnight. So guys, I will catch up with y'all once I get on the aircraft. I'm gonna go ahead and comb my hair and get this stuff packed up so I can go. All right, bye.